This is the Daily Pulse, and I'm Travis Zimmerman from Speak My Word Ministries. You know, I was recently cleaning out one of my old notebooks I got from 1998, and I had a lot of these different sayings and cards and pithy kind of things, you know, reserved behind. And I found this one that I cut out a U.S. News and World Report a number of years ago. And it's a quote from then President George Bush. And it says this, quote, I don't see how you can be president, dot, 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 without a relationship with the Lord. President Bush expressing his views on faith and politics. I don't see how you can be president without a relationship with the Lord. And that really struck me. And I, I, I'm going to cut that out. And I kept that in my folder and referred back to it. And that's so true. President Bush, then the, you know, former President Bush, is so right on that. I'm not espousing any politics, but saying here is at that time the world's most powerful leader, and there's a powerful leader now, you know, President Obama. So as as we speak of presidents, you know, we go to the scriptures. Isaiah chapter 52, verses 13 to 15. It's the beginning of the suffering and glory of the servant. See my servant whack wisely. He will be raised and lifted up, and highly exalted. Just as there were many who were appalled at him, his appearance was so disfigured beyond that of any man, and his form marred beyond human likeness, so will he sprinkle many nations, and kings will shut their mouths because of them. For what they were not told they will see, and for what they have not heard they will understand. The word of our Lord, Isaiah chapter 52, verses 13 to 15. So here Isaiah is talking about kings will shut their mouths because of him. And Isaiah spoke 700 years, seven centuries before Jesus' birth. And yet those words seven centuries ago before Jesus, this would have been now nine centuries. And where we are currently, he's speaking about kings. And he's speaking about world leaders. Jesus is the King of kings and Lord of lords. He's sovereign over all, even all the rules of the earth. They will pass away. So as George Bush says there about a faith in Jesus Christ, a faith in the Lord, he's dead on. In Jesus Christ's name, amen.